plans this trip to go back and see family and Jordan took Monday off work so that we could go get tags. So um, my mom came in and cut all of our hair before we went down to the county building. They're not open on Fridays down there. So we had to go on Monday. So we had to take that day off and um, we got the new dually and we wanted to change all the registration back down there because with having the PO box, um, we've had issues before where things have gotten lost. Um, yeah, so we were out to dinner and somebody was nice enough that they left a note on a napkin on our windshield and <laughs> told us that the plates were overdue. And we had no idea because you just don't think about that. So we're trying to change registration down, registration down there so that if our PO box gets switched or whatever the case is, we don't have any issues with it. Um, so that was the method or that was the reasoning behind what we, you're about to see. So we went and tried to get our plates today. What happened, Jordan? Didn't do. Why? You screwed up. Oh. <laughs> That's a bold face lie. What really happened? The dealership didn't send the title information in. Ah. They didn't send your drink in. The drink? <laughs> so we don't have plates on the truck yet. Um, luckily we didn't wait until the temporaries totally ran out, but the problem is um, now they have to fax things over and we are not in the area where we are presently um, staying in camper because we're transferring everything back um, closer to family so that we have all that there and we will have to make another trip back. So we have to get an extension on our temporary tags, which means we have to get a new temporary tag after the dealership um, sends everything over and then we have to come down and reapply for tags again. So Jordan took the day off so that we could have all this put together and it's not done. Anytime we go visit family we always got to make the rounds, try and visit everybody, um, take the boys to see everybody. That's who everybody really wants to see anyways. So. Um, before we headed out of town, we stopped and saw my grandma, which would be the boys' great-grandma. Um, they love to play with her her dog. She's got a little dachshund. Um, so that we enjoyed spending a little bit of time with her before we hit the road. If you guys haven't met Jessie yet, this is one of our dogs. This is Jessie James, um, and she's our purple healer. And Jordan was talking about dogs, so I figured that was the perfect time to introduce you to Jessie. She's a purple healer? Yeah, a red and blue. Okay. <laughs> were you trying to make fun of me? No, I didn't, you were trying I didn't, to make fun of me. I didn't know that they called him a purple healer. Yeah, when it's a red and blue cross, um, a lot of the time they're nicknamed a purple healer. So that's what she is. She's a tricolor. And now you know. <laughs> Such a dork. Sitting on a two-lane backcountry highway uh, for construction. So we'll be here a little while. They only open one lane at a time through this section. Um, and who knows how long it's been since the last person went through. the first time for everything. We had to vote in person this year. We have never done that. We've always done a mail-in ballot, um, but because we sold the house and we moved and they don't forward mail-in ballots and the timing of it all, we had to go in person to vote. Uh, so we went in, I voted on a machine. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Um, never done that before either. Clearly I've always done the mail-in ballot. But the boys got their stickers and we are going to finish our errands. We have to go grab groceries. I cheated this week and did Walmart pickup. 
And so we're headed there. And then um, we're gonna run across the street before that and go to the post office because it's right across the street. You got mail? Boys, what's in that box? Our curtains. Y'all remember before when I didn't have enough curtains to uh -huh. hang up? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, they're in that box. So we're yeah. going to go put those up today. Um, so, wish us luck. Ask we are pulling into Walmart pickup right now. I've used Kroger pickup. I've never used Walmart pickup. On Walmart, they send you an email um, or you can have the app downloaded and it tells you when it's ready. And then you just like click OK on your way. You can turn GPS on and they literally know when you pull in the parking lot, which is super creepy, um, but kind of cool at the same time. So you don't even have to tell them you're here. You just pull in and they're supposed to bring it right out. So we'll see if that really happens. I'm getting ready to pull in the slot right now. Um, and they should know that we're here and hopefully bring it out. We'll see. You want to go in? So it is dead Walmart grocery pickup. You literally pull in the parking lot. Um, They're standing at the door waiting for you to pull in. She came out, verified who I was, and loaded up the groceries. There's also a gift bag with something in it. I didn't open that, um, like a little reusable bag. So we'll see what's in there too. And then um, for Walmart, right now they're running a promo where it is $10 off your first order. So I saved 10 bucks and to be real honest, that was the motivator for me to try this one. Um, our local Safeway is kicking off and they're giving $20, cram, $20 off your first order. And as a couponer, that's a bonus to me. I'm working today on the backsplash behind the coffee bar. Um, right here, you can see, I did this backsplash last week. Well, I need to get this one done now. And I have to take the trim pieces off to do it. So I'll flip it around and show it to you guys and you guys can kind of see. Um, I have two of the pieces off. I need to get the last piece off so that I can get that backsplash panel out and get my gray backsplash up there. But we're not huge on renovating all kinds of stuff in this camper, but we are living in it. Um, and so we do want it to feel homey and to feel uh, like it's our space. So we have made a few little changes to it. So here's the backsplash. This is the trim piece here. So this one is off um, and so is the one on the other side, but I still have this one that I need to get off so that I can get that board out and then I can put my gray subway tile up. So I failed when I was trying to show you guys the backsplash. I didn't take any video. Um, the first couple things when I started, that was it. So I got really frustrated. The initial backsplash behind the stove was super easy to take off. A couple nails or um, staples, I guess, and then it was siliconed on the bottom. So the other one was glued to the wall. The trim, the outside trim piece on the side of the cabinet, I couldn't get off. Um, and the way that it was in there, you had to slide it out. So I had to figure out how to get it off the wall and slide it out. It was kind of a fiasco. Um, luckily, the tile is easier to put up than that. But I went and got your hand saw, a pipe saw. He doesn't even know if he yeah. wasn't here. Um, and the toolbox in the basement. So one of the little hand saws, and I cut down the grooves and then broke it so that I could get the piece out and slide it off. And I had to do that a couple different places and then um, pulled it out. So once that was out, then I had to go through with an X-Acto knife um, with a razor and trim it down because it had pulled part of the wallpaper off and then part of the glue was stuck on there. And that sticky tile is pretty thin, so I didn't want um, I didn't want any ripples and stuff in it. So that was really easy, but it was time consuming. So I went through and did that, but I don't have any video because I was really mad the whole time. So sorry. Um, but I put it up and so you're about to see it and it looks great and I love it. And it's been um, a week, two weeks? two weeks, two weeks now that it's been up and it's done really well. We still have to silicone around the edges. We haven't got that done. Um, but it's held up well. The coffee gets brewed there every morning. The little bit of steam that's there. We haven't had any issues at all. We are headed to Tava Watch today. 
um, top watch. Yes, it is an area outside of Montrose. I haven't hiked here. It's kind of funny because in all the time that we lived in this area, I haven't done a whole lot of hiking in Montrose. Every in a quarter year. mile, turn left onto Industrial Seven Drive. Years, sorry. Um, every time we hike, we always leave town. So it's been a lot of fun to join the homeschool group and um, just explore the local areas. Most of them are pretty kid friendly, but there's a lot to do around here. finish the skirting on the camper um, in the first video you guys saw we, we were doing all the measurements getting everything ordered um, everything finally came in we were able to finish it so you guys see the we did a brief rundown of how we did it um, if you guys want to see more we're gonna do just a whole video just on that but it's a real simple process um, if you got two people it works best to do it but it was super easy and I would recommend anybody do it yourself and you can save yourself, you know, thousand to two thousand dollars. So if you want more info on that, um, on the skirting, click down below in the um, info. We put the link to the other video and you can see the step by step. Um, that video also has all the links from the sources that we used because we didn't buy it direct we didn't buy it as part of a kit we bought it individually and that's part of how we kept the cost down so much um, it wasn't necessarily like an rv skirting kit but we took all the pieces that would have been in a kit and ordered them individually um, so click down below you guys can see all those details and then um, if you like stuff like that make sure you subscribe and you follow because we will post um, maintenance and things regularly we are all about budget we want to keep the cost down as much as possible. Um, we love to travel and adventure, but we are also not made of money. So we have to figure out where to cut corners. And a lot of the time, it means that we have to do the work ourselves. We do a lot of research and we want to share that with you so that you can save that money too. And one other thing um, that I did on the skirting that I did not like that I'm going to be redoing is on our access is to underneath the camper. Uh, we did a velcro and the problem we're running into is the velcro does not want to adhere too well to the vinyl It keeps coming off and so it's not a very good seal either So what we're going to do is we're going to order some more snaps that we can do uh, On both sides of the vinyl and snap it together that way um, If we had a sewing machine or something, you know, the velcro would work just fine uh, But we just tried a uh, sticky velcro to on there and it just doesn't work very well I think part of it is there's, um, here's Graham guys, um, there's a little bit of like an oil, like a residue on the vinyl kind of. No, um, it's not a residue, there's... It's, it's just part of the vinyl. It's just It's just made. slick. So it doesn't stick real well to it. And then we're in colder temperatures, thus the skirting. And so if it was warmer, I think it would stick great. Um, but because it's cold, it doesn't. And we would already have the snaps on, except for we only ordered the screw part is the base on ours and we need the, the just other a, yeah just another yeah. part that we can snap or clamp onto the other side of the vinyl but overall we're really happy with it yep. so it's made a huge difference you can walk around um through late night and early morning and used to the floor felt chilly it doesn't feel cold at all either and we got a ton of extra storage out of it underneath so we can keep the toys and the bikes and stuff under it which is really nice to keep things looking clean yep yep and everybody in the in the trailer hood thinks it's cool and it's really good. <laughs> who are you they we got a ton of compliments on it and some of the people that even work at the campground they're like hey if you want to make some more money i can get you some more gigs so it might be something we do i don't know who who knows maybe we can make a thousand bucks in a weekend and be a nice little chunk of change so yep um so we have everything laid out here that we're going to use to put the skirting on the trailer we ordered the press and snap tool 
Um, it's really inexpensive, <laughs> not really, but um, so this will put the grommets on the vinyl for us. And then we have the part that goes on the vinyl and then we also have the part that gets screwed into the trailer. That's the drill. Um, we have some heavy duty Velcro here. We're not gonna do zippers, we're gonna do Velcro for our accesses. We have um, the plastic pieces to clip on the bottom. We're gonna do PVC so that we can weight it. So um, if we move, we don't have to redo everything. And then we'll just put, Jordan's plan is to put sand in the bottom and then clip these on the bottom so that it'll hold it nice and tight and we don't lose that heat. And then we have the glue. So this, um, the main place that we'll use this is gonna be in the front part um, under, um, I don't know what it's called, the, the front part of the fifth wheel. Um, so we'll use that there because the vinyl didn't come long enough. So we'll glue two pieces together so that we can get it clear to the ground there. So here we go. Forgot about the vinyl, the oh. most important part. And a giant roll of vinyl, 18 ounce industrial coated fire retardant vinyl. Okay, so we're gonna start with the vinyl wrap around the front here just a little bit. And then we're gonna work our way around. We're gonna follow this body line right here with our snaps. It cheats a little bit so we don't have to measure as much. Um, we're gonna start here, work our way around. This body line gives us a good height so that we can include the slides and we don't have to make any adjustments. So to make sure that our snaps are not leaking any water into the camper, we're going with this stuff. I don't remember what it's called. It's been a while since I've used it, but I'll look it up and link it in the description. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of it and we're gonna put it on the back of our snaps before we screw them into the camper. Oops, just like that. And we'll screw them in and then peel off the excess, but it'll help keep water from getting inside the camper. So what we're going to do when we get to the stairs here, we got our snaps coming along. We're going to come down. I'm going to cut this section of the vinyl out. I'm going to put some snaps down here. So it'll be all one piece to come down, attach there, and then we'll come back full length here. Then what I'm going to do is cut, take that section that I cut out and we're going to snap it here. It's going to drape behind the stairs and then we're going to Velcro it to this other vinyl there. So this is a little bit thicker steel here. I'm gonna pre-drill the holes, put our snaps in, and we'll keep working our way around. Once we got the snaps in, then we're gonna come back with our vinyl and then match our vinyl up to the snaps, put the snap on the vinyl part, and be able to just go right along like that. Should be pretty easy. So these are the other two parts of the snaps. We're ready to start putting them on the vinyl. This, the rounded part. Oop. Mounts up into the top there. That rubber kind of holds it in place. The bottom part sits 
on there like that. And then you just, when you squeeze it, it presses them together. And then what does it do? Then we can put it on the camper. All right, so we gotta make sure we do it the right way. Do it the right way. <laughs> All right. About 200 more to go. So we went ahead and we doubled this over. Um, a lot of the time when you have them come out and custom skirt your camper, they sew this part down. Um, we're not doing that. I don't have a sewing machine to sew through this vinyl. But we did want it just a little bit tougher so that for the on and off, um, it's a little more durable and we have basically the two layers to um, keep it there. So this one here, this one we're a practice snap. Because I put them on, or Jordan put them on, I showed him where, and it didn't quite line up. So we slid it over. Luckily, it was at the beginning. It was a little bit of a learning curve. Hopefully, we don't screw any more up. By we, I mean me. We have three more snaps left. We are so close. Um, everything will be skirted and then I'm the lucky one. We are going to put PVC pipe and weight it underneath and then we have little flips to go on it. I get to climb under the trailer and flip everything under and do that. Um, so that's all we have left to do with it. Oh, and the stairs. So we have a quick little piece with the stairs too, but we're so close and it looks great. We're so excited. This is short Jordan here. Should I get a stool? Would that yeah, be better? That'd help. Uh, so at the end of day one with the uh, skirting install, we got it all the way around the camper, all the snaps on, all the vinyl up. Uh, it was a really easy process. It probably took as much time to load the little snap gun uh, as it did to do the whole thing. It's just a little time consuming doing that. No, it took way longer to load the snap gun. Yeah. That was definitely our holdup. But uh, real easy. I'd recommend anybody do it. Uh, real simple. If I can do it, anybody else can do it. Just, I, I'll post all the links to all the material that we used. And yeah, only a couple little minor mistakes. And it wasn't, wasn't too bad. Um, so our tips for you are whoever has the snap gun, make sure you have a shirt with a pocket because that makes it way easier to put both the screws when you're putting the screws around, um, the screws around, and then also when you're loading the snap gun because you put a piece on the top and on the bottom, the little grommet pieces, and it pinches it together. So it's handy to have those right there ready to go. Um, and definitely have two people because even if the other yep. person's just stretching out the vinyl, that's what I did most of the time is stretch the vinyl and put a mark so he knew where to snap. It makes it go a lot quicker. The small section that he did by himself took forever. Yep. So tomorrow we'll, we're going to get the PVC, get that weighted down, and then I'm um, going to put a couple little openings for access underneath, the, especially on the front part, so we can store bikes and stuff underneath there. But yeah, I'd recommend anybody can do it yourself. If you got questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help anybody else out. And we, um, again, we're budget. And so we priced out doing this with both Easy Snap and um, another, another kit. I don't remember who it was through. 
Um, and we came to about $2,000 with both of them. And then we got a quote to do, to have somebody come out and custom fit, really similar to like we what we did, but she sews the top seam. Um, and it was $2,500 to have that done. So we did this for less than $1,000. It was right around $800, I think, yeah. um, at the time that we did it. So Jordan will post all those links. They'll all be below, um, but super budget friendly. And we've already got compliments from other campers about how great it looks. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> truck and yet this pipe is in the suburban because the car seats were in the suburban and we forgot we had to get it um, we're gonna use this to put into or to put under the um, <laughs> I was trying to turn the radio off so I guess um, to put under the <laughs> Stop making fun of me. I couldn't reach the knob up there and I was trying to turn the volume off um, so we're gonna use the pipe Jordan's gonna cap it and we're gonna put sand in it to put under the skirting and then we have the clips that we're gonna clip tight to it to hold the skirting down um, and make it taut on the bottom. So we're gonna see how it works. He bought a funnel that he's gonna have to cut the end off of. Um, the other one was way too small to fit in or to push the sand through and the other one's way too big. So um, hopefully that works and I'm the lucky one that gets to crawl under the camper today. Squeeze them like this. They they were women. Oh, what are you boys doing? I dipped dip in the packing peanuts in the water and then put them on our paper. What happens when you put them in the water? They, they dissolve. Melt. They dissolve. And they uh -huh. stick on you. Oh, that's silly. Uh huh. Those are the biodegradable ones. Uh huh. Uh, that's a cool project, huh? Steve, you and messy project. And messy. You guys love messy. Oh, yeah. So we got our one inch PVC pipe. Picked that up this morning. I'm going to cut it to length. I measured the pass through storage on the camper. Because um, I want to be able to store these when they're not in use and take them with us instead of having to redo this all the time. It's not going to add that much more weight and it'll just be convenient to have. Them. Yeah. So I'm going to cut them to length, pipe. cap one end, fill it with sand. Cap the other end, and then we're going to put it on the skirting with the uh, clamps that I have um, to hold it to the vinyl. So we're going to get to cutting them out and filling them up now. Okay, so now we're going to cut a slit down here. This is going to be our access underneath the fifth wheel. We'll be able to use it for storage, uh, put the boys' bikes underneath there, and anything else that we want to keep out of the weather. Okay, Jordan is peeling off the sticky on or the cover on the velcro we're gonna put it together and then we're gonna high five to get it to latch shut the RV skirting is complete so we do a little quick walk around you can see my white plastic clamps that are holding the PVC weights down we are all buckled up Hole there for the sewer. Get 
it is all buckled up. You got an access opening there. So we got a little storage underneath there. Another Velcro opening right here. Pretty easy install. Like I said, I did it for about 800 bucks. If you guys wanna know more, feel free to reach out, ask me any questions. We'll post the whole video. But yeah, super easy. The skirting has, has been up for almost a whole day now. This is the third person who stopped to ask us questions about it. So for novices doing it um, on a dime, trying to stay in budget and make it look decent, I think we did a pretty good job. When you're a full-time family and your kids are little, this is what date night looks like. We have the baby and the dogs on a walk around the campground. And their drinks. <laughs> and our drinks, George says. <laughs> Why the big kids play at the playground. And a quick walk for the dogs. Put the baby out. Thanks for joining us today, guys. If you liked what we shared, make sure you subscribe. Click that little bell so that you get all the notifications when we have new videos out. Um, things like the skirting video when we're not posting them on our normal time so that you get those. We are posting our weekly videos Friday at 11 um, noon, 11 a.m., excuse me, um, mountain time. So you guys will have Friday and all weekend to catch up on those. So make sure you do. Um, like I said, if you like it, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We would greatly appreciate that. Leave a comment if there's something else that you want to see, something you loved. Um, next week... Where are we headed? Next week we're going to where I work. I work for Ross and Abel Fly Reels. We manufacture all the reels here in Colorado. Uh, so Brooke put together a little homeschool field trip with a bunch of homeschool kids. So we're gonna go on a little factory tour. Catch. Sorry, baby tried to fall off the couch. <laughs> so we're gonna do a do a little tour of the factory. And then uh, we're also going to Gunnison for the day. We can go hang out up there and see what else the week has in store for us. We also do fun art projects. And um, so if your kids are into art like ours are, we have a great place for you to check out if you're in there, this area or really any area um, that has stuff like this. So we'll share more about that too. And we got a behind the scenes tour there that we didn't plan on getting, which was really fun. Jordan got left out of that one because um, it was through the week, but we'll be back because it was really cool. So um, like he, like we said, if you guys, <laughs> Graham is following okay. y'all around. <laughs> um, if you like what we share, what we do, our tips, make sure you subscribe, make sure you click the notification, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.